What's up guys, Becky and Chris here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys some basic keyboard commands in Premiere Pro, but also some of our favorites to make you guys faster and more efficient at editing. Harder, faster, better, stronger. Yeah, that. Okay, let's start with the basic commands that every editor needs in their knowledge base. But if you can't remember the shortcut, most of the tools are over here on the side. If you mouse over them, it tells you what keyboard command corresponds with that tool. First step, the selection tool V on your keyboard. So you can use this tool to make selections without affecting anything in your clip. Next is the razor tool, which is C on your keyboard. Now the razor tool does exactly what you would think it does. It cuts the clips in your timeline. If you hold down shift, while you are on the razor tool, you'll see this little double razor click and it cuts everything at the playhead. You can quickly select, delete, and close a gap in your timeline using the ripple delete keyboard command. So select the segment you want to delete, hold option and hit delete at the same time and it will delete your clips and move everything to the right on the timeline over to close the gap. This one is one you're gonna use all the time because literally it saves the most time. If you hit spacebar, you can pause and play your videos on the fly, making it super quick, super simple to edit. To zoom in and out on your timeline, use plus and minus on your keyboard. So plus zooms in minus zooms out. And if you command plus, it increases the size of your track. Command minus decreases the size of your track. Command S or control S on a PC is probably the most important keyboard command. So if I hit command S, it's gonna save my project. You're gonna to wanna to be hitting this a lot to make sure that you have the most recent version of your project saved. Cause you don't wanna burn yourself at the end of the day when you accidentally close a project and you haven't saved it and then you're like, I just lost everything. Don't, don't be like me. <laughs> in all seriousness, don't forget to set up your autosave. Chris ran over that in the preferences video, which is linked in the playlist. So those are the must know keyboard commands to make you a faster, more efficient editor. But there are a few more that I like to use on the regular that really help me get through my edit quickly. So you can set in and out points on your timeline to make a time selection to render or export. But you can also use this to select a portion of your clip in the source window. What I basically do is find Part of the clip that I like. So I hit the space bar to play it. I like this, so I hit I on my keyboard to set an in point, O on my keyboard to set an out point. So that's made a time selection on the part of the clip that I really like. Now, if I wanna send that down into my timeline on the fly, instead of clicking and dragging it, I can hit comma and that sends that down to my timeline directly. Next up is the rate stretch tool. I love this for quickly doing time lapses. So I have a long clip here, I'm gonna hit R, on my keyboard and I'm gonna mouse over to the end of my clip until the red bracket with a black arrow shows up. And then I'm gonna click and I'm going to drag that over to the left here, decreasing my clip size, but speeding up the clip's duration. And you can see here, it pops up what the duration of the speed actually ends up being. So I'm just gonna keep going with this and make it shorter and shorter and shorter. Okay, if we play that back, we can see that we have a sped up clip. Simple way to make a quick and easy time lapse. The next keyboard command is the track select forward tool. So if I hit A on my keyboard, you'll see this little double arrow pop up. So if I come over here and I click here, it will select what I've selected plus everything to the right of that. So I can just click and drag and kind of move this over to where I want, or I can open up the gap. And if I wanna take these clips, I just click here and I can move these over. So it's really simple. You could quickly move things around in your timeline without messing anything up. So the last one is actually three keyboard commands. It's J, K, and L on your keyboard, which is fast forward, rewind, and stop. So you can preview clips super quickly in your source window or in your timeline using J, K, and L. So if I come down here, I hit L on my keyboard, it plays back normal. Twice, twice as fast. Three times, three times as fast. K will stop it. And then if I hit J, it will go backwards. If I hit J a second time, it goes back twice as fast, and J a third time, it rewinds three times as fast. Mastering these keyboard commands will make you a faster and more efficient editor. Now I don't even have to think, I can just be like, mm. You can find all of the videos in the series linked in the playlist below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll catch you next time.